right, 49, number 49, book number 49. We got Spider-Man character encyclopedia. More than 200 heroes and villains from Spider-Man's world. This is from 2014. So it has everything up to 2014. And yes, this book is severely fucked up. Yeah, fucked up. <laughs> And you know how it got fucked up? Probably kids throwing it around and shit. So, here's the table of contents and who is in here. So we have up from Peter Parker all the way up to Zizax. So this is a 200 and 208 page book so you figure about 210 so as you know you've seen character encyclopedias on my page <coughs> excuse me jesus christ i'm dying so you've seen me do character encyclopedia reviews on here before so you know what to expect so, you got, for this, you know, like, Batman had his thing. This is web file. So, you got intelligence, strength, speed, durability, energy, project, projection, fighting skill. Hang on, I'm going to drink. <sighs> Better. So, you know, but you get a bio, detail, uh, little details, artwork. So, we'll just run through this. <clears throat> mm. So, this was a really good book. I like this a lot. This was cool. And this does go alphabetically. In case you were wondering. Yeah. This motherfucker goes alphabetical, unlike the other one. Which is so good. I never expected that shit. So, you get, you know, details. Artwork. Little... Uh, facts and whatnot, quotes, and it's just a really good book. It's a nice book. I like this book. I'm not gonna own this book though, because it's just eh, it's not my thing, to be honest. I just, I mean, I like Spider-Man, don't get me wrong, but, eh. and also, you know, Batman had his thing, so, Spidey's enemies are red, neutral is, oh, they're not even colored, oh, they are colored, okay, so, yeah, red, enemies are red, bleh. enemies and neutrals are red, allies are blue, so, there's something for you to check out. There's the Dark Avengers. And who was in the team. Oh, neutral is yellow. Okay. I don't know. It changes. It's so weird. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Dragon Man. And as always, watch this on your TV. So you can really get the full extent of what you're looking at. Because I don't really have to zoom in. Like, if I hold it here, it'll show up nice and big on the TV. Frightful 4. So, let's see. Would I recommend it to my friends? Yeah, because uh, most of them are Marvel fans. Not a lot of DC love, because it's split. Everybody likes DC, everybody likes Marvel. It's a toss-up. <laughs> um, would I recommend it to you? Well, yeah. That's why I'm showing it to you. <laughs> you know, this is everything for 2014 Spider-Man. So this thing's like five years old, and it's five years off with missing information, so... There you go. You know, if you don't like Spider-Man, well, it's a good thing there's multiple choice. <laughs> so you can choose what Spider-Man you like. Yeah, it's torn too. Damn. Ew, and there's stickiness on it. 
not like dried sticky, like um, sandpaper sticky kind of. Uh. Um, if you are into character encyclopedias, definitely something for you to add in your collection. And it's a hardcover as well, so there's something else to, look, to be happy about. It's not a soft cover like some of them are. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm kind of tired. I'll be honest. I'm, I don't mean to sound bored or anything, but I'm just, you know, I'm trying to get all these books done so I can go back and then I can focus on doing my stuff. There's Miles Morales. Speaking of which, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is on Netflix right now. Shameless plug. I'm not sponsored by Netflix. I'm not sponsored by Marvel. Just wanted to tell your ass that. So check it out. It's good shit. And also, the blurriness in Spider-Verse, it's supposed to be there because uh, they wanted to make the movie feel more like a comic come to life, which it really does feel like that more. Like, Watchmen did it for, did it perfectly live action. Spider-Verse did it perfectly animated. There's Morbius. He's got a movie coming out eventually, whenever they get around to it. <laughs> uh, so. This is a really good book, though. I like this. I like character encyclopedias. They're fun because you always get to see, you know, what they got going on, who they are, what they're about. And it's broken down easy for kids. That's what makes it so exciting. Because then they can, you know, leaf through it and show their parents, you know, who they like the most. If they have siblings, they can fight over who's the better person. That's probably how this book got torn up. Somebody probably had multiple kids and then it got ruined. <clears throat> so, yeah. I do like this book. This is a really good book. Shang-Chi. He's got an upcoming film. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm glad they're adapting more lesser-known heroes into comic book films, because shit. <laughs> You can only have so many origin films on one hero until they start getting stale and boring as fuck. Yeah. I hate that. I'm like, we have enough Batman films. We have enough Iron Man films. We have enough Superman films. I don't think we need... And Spider-Man's the same way, too. Like, there's enough Spider-Man. <laughs> like, stop. <laughs> like, focus on the other aspects. Like, this is fun. Like, give me all the... Give me every iteration of Spider that's in the Spider-Verse. Like, shit. I want that. That would be fun as hell to watch. Mm. Like, damn. So yeah, this was a great book to read once I got around to it. Like, I grew up watching 90s Spider-Man, so... Seeing all this shit was awesome as hell. And we're almost to the end. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed this, please let me know. Because this was a great book to find. Sucks it's all beat the fuck up, but it's still good. There we go. And we're done. So, if you like Marvel, this is definitely a book for you. <clears throat> I would, like I've said before about uh, Star Wars books, like I've said about Star Wars, Marvel, DC, all that, 2020 is around the corner. Well, halfway around the corner. So they'll probably be re-releasing updated stuff to, you know, uh, 
give you a full collective book on everything that's happened with Spider-Man and whoever. So be on the lookout for it. Mm. I got the hiccups. So, um, if you don't like Spidey, definitely not for you. If you don't like Marvel, not for you. If you're not into character encyclopedias like this, it's not for you. Um, I don't tell you. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll be back in a little bit with another book. Stay tuned.